Hey guys and welcome to a series I'm calling I Spy. Now I've been back playing Sorters again and I found out just how many people don't really know how to do the spy vaults and are struggling to do them undetected. So I've made the decision to start this series showing both stealth and unstealth methods of completing the spy vaults. On the unstealth runs I'm running a silent vehicle or heck with silent battery mod but for the most part you can just finish the enemies that I'm shooting in the face in case you're on a melee only sortie for example. Now I have to admit Doing this kind of commentary and video where I'm doing it while I play, it's not really my strong suit. So I hope you enjoy this video and that maybe I can hope you improve your spy game. Now the choice of tower set has come because this is my main leveling ground, said Nakappa. I go here to level just about everything these days, so I know these vaults pretty much like the back of my hand. However, for the next video, feel free to let me know which tower set you want me to see or you want me to do. So, let's join the action at the first vault. Okay, so we've got this really, really simple one. Head left, knock out the uh, the disruption bar. Jump down here. Do the hack. And there we go. Job done. Um, this one, if you screw up, you will actually uh, set that thing off. So you'll actually have a mini boss fight as well as trying to uh, fight against the... Uh, the timer of the the vault so that's one thing to remember when doing that one that there is actually a penalty for screwing up not just the fact that you've now got to try and do the hack quicker okay so this is probably the easiest of the spy vaults for uh, Nyx I always knock these two out because at the end of the day you're going to be waiting for this guy down here to actually uh, to go on his patrol path his patrol path is going to go around it's going to loop around the objective like that and now you've got enough time to get behind him and get the hack done fish press boss job done and on you move to the next bit of your uh, spy mission very very quick very easy okay so let's head into this one of the vaults open it up see what we've got so this is actually one of the longer spy vaults on the uh, grenier ship tower set just going to jump all the way up here, get this hack done as quickly as possible, and screw it up a few times, you know, just how, just how pretty much my spy, uh, style is, jump down here, fail that too, it's going well, come up here, do the hack here, recloak, head back round here, up through the thing after failing the bullet jump. A lot of fails going on in this one. Could very have easily have edited all this out, made myself look amazing, but uh, I haven't. Let's kill that thing. And then you're in the spy vault doing the hacking. Badly. There we go. I could have used ciphers as well. Um, would have been the other way to do this. However, decided to do it basically showing you uh, my rather poor hacking skills. Okay, well this uh, vault really isn't as difficult as uh, as it seems to be honest. Um, it's just as easy as with Loki to be honest. So you just head up into this vault here, or into the uh, pipe, just up here. And then head round to the side. Round to the side, drop down in here, head all the way around here, do the hack here. What this does is there's two laser grids that is actually covering the console and that actually turns both of them off. We go head around here, and then up, and then up, and then up. Wait for that to go off, head in, kill that. And there we go. Another successful hack. And then you don't have to worry about any of the other things. You don't have to worry about the regulators. At all. It's so nice. Okay. Let's open up the vault. Head on in. So we've got one of the uh, longer ones again here. Let's cloak up and head over to the left. 
I always go left, it's just a pretty much a force of habit. You can go right, but he went right this time. There's a sensor thing panel here. It can either be bottom or top. Uh, thankfully, this time it's bottom, so you just jump through. Um, if it's on the if it's on the top, you just walk underneath. <laughs> it's it's the worst trap does ever designed. Now from here, you can either go underneath, which means that you've got to try and avoid all the lasers, um, or you can just head around here and then just take the elevator down. Now the reason I take the elevator is because you're going to need uh, to use that elevator anyway. Oh, and now I messed up. Take him out. You're going to need to take that elevator to get out of the vault anyway. So um, you might as well just ride the elevator down. And then you just put to jump out. Like I say, going to have to do it anyway. So you might as well do it then. Um, that shows what happens though when you don't pay attention to your cloak timer. That's one of the very, very important things to do when you're playing Spy. Especially when you're trying to go for stealth XP runs. Always pay attention to your cloak timer. Okay, so this is fairly easy. This is one of the ones where, like, sometimes you get dual re uh, dual regulators here. Sometimes you'll only get one regulator. Um, so basically, you've got to either deal with uh, one guy there, or you've got to deal with the two regulators. So to break that thing, come down here. Wait for this to go off, which it is at the moment, but I'm expecting if I move towards it, it'll go back on. Nope, it didn't. Duck under there. Pull it, jump over that one. Up into the vault. And then you can do your hacking. Job done. And then this guy will come in just too late to actually stop you doing anything. Then up you go. Back on the lift. And it will open the door up. And then you can be on your merry way. Let's make sure to do our cloak again. Head through here. Don't have to worry about the arc trap. Don't have to worry about him because he doesn't detect us worth stealth. Again, don't worry about the arc trap. Bullet jump all the way to the end. Do the hack. It's probably the slowest bit of the vault is that hack. But both of these hacks are the slowest bits of the vault. You do the hack. There you go. 24,000 XP. More levels towards whatever you're leveling up. Doing the Silver in Aegis at the moment. It's a little bit of a... Uh, an inside look into one of my future videos. Now this is one of the vaults that actually differs from where I would do with Loki. With Loki, I would go to the left. With any everything else, I go to the right. And here you prepare for quite possibly the derpiest parkour in the game. It's kind of dodgy. And then you head up here. I'm trying to go, I hate trying to go across in parkour. There you go. It's a little bit dodgy. However, we are now already at the vault. Having completely bypassed both of those sensor regulators the other side. Don't have to worry about their patrol pattern. Don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So, very quick, very easy. Don't have to worry about this guy. Okay, so I used to think this was actually a pretty difficult vault, to be honest. Um, it's It looks difficult. With Loki, you can do it pretty much uh, one of two different ways, to be honest. You can go in through here with a switch teleport. And then round. Although you've got to make sure that your cloak is on long enough. So let's do it the switch teleport way this time. So that's this uh, completed now for this, well at least for this uh, this way. The other way would be to go through here and up th this way. There would normally be a laser here and there would normally be a laser here. And then you just come in here. And then the target is right here. So there's two different ways you can do it as Loki. Um, you can uh, The switch teleport way is probably just as fast as the other way. I mean, it kind of depends on which one you want to do. Um, which one actually suits your style a bit more than um, anything else, to be honest. I don't think either of them is really particularly quicker than the other. Now, this vault is actually pretty simple. Like, before, beforehand, I... I Personally, I mean, even I struggled with this one until I actually learned the mechanics of it. It's pretty much, I mean, it's very, very simple once you do. 
pretty much if you equip your melee weapon, just crouch underneath these things. You don't have to worry about trying to do any rolling or any of that. Um, if you try and slide jump around that corner, or um, slide around that corner, occasionally it sort of bugs out and you'll do a roll instead, and that can very often set off the alarm. So just equip your melee um, and just sort of crouch walk underneath it. And there you go. Another 15 second volt, another 24,000 XP. More levels towards your weapon. Okay, coming along to the final of the uh, vaults in our list. Do the hack. Go in here, jump all the way to the top, mess up the uh, bullet jumping a little bit, J drop in here, right next to the console, and that's job done. <laughs> I mean, this is probably the simplest out of all of the spy bolts. Wasn't really designed with Spy 2.0 in mind, to be honest. Oh, with um, Parkour 2.0 in mind, to be honest. I can't remember when that one came in, but it doesn't feel like it was designed after Parkour 2.0 because that's the most simple of all of the vaults. It's literally 24,000 XP for about 15 seconds work. This vault really is as easy with Nyx as it is with Loki's. Go here. Fail the bullet jump, and then actually bullet jump up. Faff about for a bit, trying to bullet jump the right direction because bullet jump control is still a bit weird. Drop down right next to the um, to the hacking target, and you're done. Another 15 second vault for another 24,000 XP. <laughs> it's crazy the amount of XP you get, and then fall to your death. It's crazy the amount of XP you get for such a short thing. And then you don't have to worry about any of these guys, any of the regulators or sensor regulators. So simple, so easy. So I hope this video has helped you get more of an idea of how to successfully run the spy vaults, both stealth and unstealth. Spy can be an incredible way to level, especially if you've got friends doing it with you too. Please give me some feedback in the comments below and on the video. I'm interested to know if this is something you enjoy me seeing, um, enjoy seeing me do and how I could improve on it. Many thanks for watching though. Please smash that like button, give us a sub if you like my content. And I shall see you in the next video.